What's going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, we're back in my old apartment. We got Mickey in the background right there. We got a rack full of clothes. I haven't made a pickups video in quite a while and I've actually been recently buying a lot of like vintage stuff or just like cheap stuff off eBay or Etsy or just through thrifting. And I figured why not show you guys all my like cheap pickups in one video. Maybe show you guys later how I style some of these pickups in the end of the video. I still have been buying a lot of designer grail type stuff that you guys definitely want to see on this channel. But I figured I'd save that for a different video. So definitely stay up to date with my videos. I'm gonna try to post every single week, but it's kind of tough since school. It's keeping me really, really busy right now. Now the first few items, I guess I'll show you guys pants first. I have four pairs of pants I wanna show you guys in this video. I've got two pairs of leather pants and then two jeans. Um, so let's start off with the jeans. I actually received a ton of like DMs and questions about where I got these jeans when I posted this photo right here. People thought they were like designer, like really really expensive but these are actually like twenty dollar wrangler jeans that i got off ebay super super cheap very affordable and they look great and the quality is great too obviously wrangler i think originally wrangler was like a jeans company or i don't know i've definitely seen ads for like their jeans and stuff like that so the quality is going to be there definitely i believe this is like the pro gear five pocket tree camo jean but i could be wrong on that name I'll definitely have a link down in the description where you guys can go buy this exact same pair. I believe there's two different versions too. I believe there's a version with like a darker print and then the version with a lighter print. In my personal opinion, I like the lighter print just a little bit more, so that's what I ended up buying here. It's a little bit more faded looking. It's not as like deep and contrasty as the other versions. If you guys watch Kyron's videos and you would see that he also bought a pair of tree camo jeans, very, very similar. Like I don't think they're the same brand. I think he got a different version. Um, but basically the same thing. His are a little bit darker, mine's a little bit more faded and washed out, which is like my preference. There's nothing too crazy about these jeans. They're just like a straight cut jean, no taper at the bottom, not a skinny fit. They stack a lot. I ended up going, I'm like a 30-ish waist, but I ended up going with a 32 by 34 because I wanted them to be really, really baggy and oversized. I wanted them to stack a lot towards the bottom and have like a really nice puddle. The next pair of jeans I want to show you guys, I just got in a couple days ago. I'm still a little iffy on them. It's a very like new look for me, especially. But these are just a pair of Levi's 550s, which is a cut that I've never personally owned before. I sent like a super low ball offer on them and the seller just accepted. So I got them for pretty much dirt cheap. The wash is okay. It's kind of like what's putting me off on them a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of like the super light blue, like single fade. Basically, it's just one single tone all the way through. You have like hints of like darker blue up here, but I wish there was like more hints of that. Another reason why these are a little bit more unique for me is because they have a rip right there in the knee. It's just like one single blowout and there's a couple like smaller ones all around the jeans, like one around the pocket right there. They're just like, spread out all over and these are vintage so it was just put in through wear and tear I believe but I do like the single hole has a cool look to it if it had two holes I definitely wouldn't have bought these jeans but I wanted something that looks very very worn something with a little bit of a lighter wash I think this is a little bit too light for me but I'm definitely still gonna hold on to these because I got them for like $15 so I'm still on the hunt for the perfect pair of blue jeans that have like the right rips and the right wash and all that stuff um, but I will keep you guys updated as I go along moving to the next pair of pants I want to show you guys uh, let's do this one right here. These are some vintage uh, leather pants. Now the pictures are a little bit deceiving. I was expecting a very, very heavy, like very, very thick and like not very smooth pair of like leather pants. But unfortunately, these are pretty light. As you can see, they're kind of flimsy. So it kind of really, really put me off on them. I'm not like the biggest fan of that. I wanted them to be pretty stiff and like very rigid. Um, but one of the really cool details about these is that they have contrast stitching details all around, which is really, really cool. There's also studding right there along the pocket. When I bought these, they still had the tag on them from like the, like the retail tag and it said $425. And I got these for like 30 bucks, which is pretty good, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna hold on to them for much longer just because they, you know, they weren't what I thought they were gonna be. These ones also do have a little bit of fading on them. As you can see around like the knee panel, there's like, a little bit of discoloration, which is really cool. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of these, which is why I bought this pair of leather pants right here. These are, uh, I don't think they're branded at all, because I don't see a tag or anything. Yeah, these are just unbranded. Um, these are just another pair of 
leather pants, except these ones are a little bit more of what I was looking for. Um, these are very, very heavy, as you guys can hear. It's real leather, probably like four or five times heavier than this pair. So it's definitely in the right direction in those regards. I do wish these had that same contrast stitching that these have, but obviously you can't get the best of both worlds there. Um, these also have a different cut too. These are very, very wide. Unfortunately, the seller on eBay didn't have any measurements listed, so I just kind of bit the bullet and hope for the best. I definitely wanted one that has a little bit more of a slim fit. Um, not like super slim, but not this baggy. But these are still really cool. I'm definitely gonna wear them just because I got them for pretty cheap and they are leather. Probably the most questions about a single item in my wardrobe is this flannel right here. And this is actually a Wrangler premium quality quilted flannel. I got this for a outfit challenge that I was gonna do basically instead of this video, but items took way too long to arrive. So I just kind of wanted to record a video for you guys. But this was supposed to be an alternative to the Balenciaga quilted flannel jacket that tons of people have been seen wearing. It looks very, very similar to this, except it has the quilting on the outside instead of being on the inside liner. Um, but I couldn't find something that had that same kind of quilting, so I bought this one right here. I do own another Wrangler like work flannel, except that one has a Sherpa lining, whereas this one has a quilted lining. And that one was also a size large, but this one is a double XL because I want it to be super, super oversized. You can really get the same aesthetic as the Balenciaga one for way, way cheaper. I'm not the biggest fan of the pockets. The pockets are like on the sides, but all the like the Wrangler work flannels for some reason have those pockets. Very, very cheap. I got this for like. 15 or $20 off eBay, and there's a, a huge abundance of these. If you want to find one, it'd be so easy. They have tons of different patterns. People are cutting grass outside, but let's continue anyways. Um, let's go with this one for the next pickup. This one also is a red jacket, so not too much diversity right there. But, um, but this is a maroon MA1 bomber jacket. I was on the hunt for one for so long, I couldn't find the right like size, I couldn't find the right brand. I'm not the biggest fan of the Rothko bombers. If you guys own a Rothko bomber, then you know that the quality isn't that good. They're very, very cheap feeling. I hate how the material kind of crumples and it's very, very loud and noisy. This one that I ended up buying is actually unbranded. There's no tags or anything like that, but it, it is very, very similar to like the uh, the Alpha Industries bomber. I wanted one that has a very similar aesthetic and fit to the Raph Simmons bombers. There's like the curriculum one, there's the pyramid one, there's the riot bombers and stuff like that. Um, those were all actually made on blanks. If you guys did not know that, he didn't make those bombers. Those were all bombers from a brand called Fostex, I think it was like Fostex garments. And you can still buy those today. They're kind of hard to get your hands on. Um, but if you treat them the right way, if you wash them a lot, you can get the same kind of fade. So I'm debating doing something like that, but we will see. Um, this one I got right here is very, very cool. I love the color. It's like a burgundy maroon with the orange on the inside, which I love. Very oversized fit. I believe this is also a double XL. I want it to be extremely, extremely big on me. It's got the pocket right there, which is very signature to these kind of jackets. I wanted a bomber that had the body length the same as the sleeve length which is kind of actually hard to find. I'd say most of them actually have the body ending a lot higher or being kind of cinched in the waist. But I wanted the waist to be very open, exaggerated, so it's not like too constricting. I can layer and stuff like that. I forget how much I got this one for, but it's probably around like 40 or $50. And I believe this one is like military issue, but I could be wrong. I haven't actually worn that one outside yet just because it hasn't been too, too cold. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what this is. This is actually not really part of this pickups video, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is a Calvin Klein balaclava. This is definitely one of the hottest items of the year. Balaclava's kind of had like a weird wave. Gucci was doing their face masks. Calvin Klein did these ones. There's a ton of different colorways and patterns. But after I bought this one, I was kind of like, well, it's just a balaclava. I wonder if I could find a cheap alternative one with a very, very similar aesthetic. And so I actually found an Etsy listing that was selling a bunch of different colorways. Unfortunately, they were in Poland. So when I bought these, they like just arrived like two days ago and I had bought them before Christmas. So that's how long this video has been in process for. Um, but I, I bought two to show you guys. And this first one is extremely, extremely similar to uh, Calvin Klein colorway. It has a very similar shape. This one is not nearly as long. If you guys compare the lengths, you guys can see that the Calvin Klein one is way, way longer, um, which I definitely prefer to be honest. But considering how I got this for like 20, five or thirty dollars whereas that one right here was like 300 and something i think it was 300 actually the quality is definitely not as good it's got a much more like chunky knit these are hand knit by the way but i also got another colorway because i wanted to just get 
two colorways to show you guys the different options. For some reason, this one has a different like fit, even though I bought the same size in both. So I also got this one right here. But as you guys can see, even like holding them up side by side, this one's a little bit longer, has like a different neck. So if you wanted the same aesthetic as the Calvin Klein one, but if you're on a budget, can't go wrong with this. Next up, I have a few hats to show you guys. I actually bought a lot more, but I don't want to show you guys all of them in one video just because that would be very, very boring. But I got three right here that are definitely my favorites that I've picked up. This first one right here just says The Computer Shop, New Ulm, Minnesota, I think, or I could get MN is Minnesota, or uh, I want to say it's Minnesota. And it says A New Way of Getting It Done. Very, very weird and funny. It's got a cool fit to it. It's got like a very unstructured um, like front panel. A lot of trucker hats like this one have a very structured front panel. But I like the color too, it's just blue. Very, very simple. It looks like a fake company, honestly. It looks like a front for like the mafia. But I like that, I got it for like $5. This other one right here, I still have to like fix a little bit just because the front panel is getting kind of warped since it was in a box for a while. Um, this one just says Armadillo Enterprises and it has a picture of an armadillo, 539, 4500, glass block. Not really sure what kind of company this is, but but again, another weird like trucker hat. This one is in a yellow, like kind of golden colorway with blue print. This last one I got is definitely one of my favorites and it fits so well into my wardrobe because it has like a very muted color palette. Um, this is a corduroy trucker hat in like a tannish off-white colorway. It's got a really, really thick rope around the front and then it has Big Sky Montana right there on the front panel. The second to last pickup that I wanna show you guys, I actually thrifted this. I forget where from, but just some place in Boston. It is a cotton knit uh, sweater. I was looking for a wool one. I couldn't find one that had a really nice, like chunky, visible knit. When I bought this, it was used, but it wasn't used to this point. I actually took a lighter, took a bunch of like knives and stuff and wanted to cut it up and do some like cool distressing on it to give it like a vintage destroyed look. I was kind of mimicking the process of a Margiela cardigan that I saw in Essence like not too, too long ago. Had like a lot of rips and burns on it, which I thought was really, really cool, but I didn't want to spend $500 on that. The ribbing around the entire sweater is completely tattered and destroyed. I put lots of burns in different areas. I believe I got the sweater for like $15, which is kind of expensive for like thrifting, honestly, but in the North, Thrifting is always expensive. And then moving on to the very last pickup that I wanna show you guys is this tie-dye long sleeve shirt that I got off eBay. And this long sleeve right here really stuck out to me because of the tie-dye effect. Normally tie-dyes are completely symmetrical, but this one just is on one side and it goes onto the sleeve. This also was originally part of like an outfit challenge I was trying to do, but everything took so long to get in. I couldn't wait. I feel like tie-dye is gonna be pretty big in 2019. It was definitely big in 2018, but I feel like it's gonna be even bigger now that like Virgil is doing his Louis tie-dye stuff. I got this off eBay for like $10 and I couldn't be happier. I don't have any pink like this in my wardrobe, so it's definitely a standout piece for me. And yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys how some of these pieces look like on me. All right, so as you guys can see for this first outfit, I'm wearing the maroon bomber. And then I have the vintage tee that I was wearing like while I was talking for the video. It's just a basic vintage graphic tee that I flipped inside out. And then for jeans, these are the Levi's 550s that have like the single knee blowout right there. And then on feet, I have the Air Jordan 1 1985 in the neutral gray colorway. And then on my head, I have the Big Sky Montana hat. Um, I love the bomber, I love how it fits. As you guys can see, it has a really nice boxy fit. Um, I think just everything works really, really well together. It's a very simple, casual outfit. There's not really any statement pieces, which is kind of like why this is a very casual outfit. You can just go out and wear this on any day and you look good. I feel like my style's shifting a little bit more towards this, in my personal opinion. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this first outfit. I really, really like how it looks. It has a vintage feel to it, obviously, since a lot of things are vintage. But yeah, let's hop right into the next outfit. All right, so I got the next outfit on. And this is the outfit that I was actually gonna wear for an outfit challenge video that never really came to fruition because these uh, balaclavas took so long to ship, but this is what the outfit would have looked like. This is actually gonna be a just like denim tears for less kind of outfit challenge. Um, so I've got like the layers, I've got the tie dye, the balaclava, which he always wears. You guys can let me know what you think, if it actually looks like an outfit that he would wear. This is what it was supposed to look like. As you guys can kind of see this balaclava it fits actually pretty good. It is pretty similar to the Calvin Klein one, just from like my personal experience. Unfortunately, it smells a lot like cigarettes, so I guess the person who knit this is just like chain smoking constantly. 
Um, but I do like this outfit. It's definitely a little bit more out there compared to the first outfit. A lot more patterns going on, which is something that I'm not really too fond of. If I was going outside, I'd probably tone it down a little bit. But I have the Wrangler flannel on right now. I just have it unbuttoned. Normally, I like to have it buttoned up so it looks like the Balenciaga one, just a little bit more. Underneath, I have the pink tie-dye long sleeve, like asymmetrical tie-dye. Really, really cool effect. Obviously, I have the hand-knit cigarette special. Uh, it looks a little bit weird. Some people like to have it like over their nose, but I do not want to be inhaling all that right now. I do also like the color combination and the pattern too. It's definitely a little bit more unique. And then for pants, I'm wearing the Wrangler jeans, so two Wrangler pieces in one outfit. These are the Pro Gear tree camo jeans, and I just have the 1985 Jordans on again just to make the outfit really, really simple and easy. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of it, but it does kind of look like an outfit that Tremaine would wear. So yeah, let me see if I can put together one more outfit with the remaining items. Obviously, I can't piece together everything since there's two more pairs of pants, but let's see what I come up with. All right, you guys, so I have on the final pieces, except for the other pair of uh, the leather pants. But currently, I am wearing the DIY distressed cotton sweater that I thrifted, and then I have on the computer shop trucker hat, which is the blue trucker hat. And then I have on the other pair of the leather pants. This is a pair that I personally prefer more, but we'll talk about the fit a little bit. And then I just have the, the 1985 Jordan ones again, just to keep all the outfits uh, kind of like uniform with each other, just like on a styling basis. But I do actually like this outfit. I feel like it's missing one more accessory type thing. Maybe it's like a bag or like a backpack or something like that. The one issue I kind of have is with the pants. The pants, as you guys can see, are very, very wide, especially in the thigh area. I don't mind that it's wide towards the bottom, but it is pretty wide in the thigh area, which, is gives, which gives it like a really, really weird fit. So I might have to get these tailored. I'm not even sure if these can get tailored, but, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this outfit too. I definitely think it's a nice outfit. It's pretty simple. Again, I just think it's missing one more thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just finish off the video right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out so much. I'm going to try to keep consistent uploads for you guys. It's kind of hard, though, because of school and stuff like that. Voice your opinion down in the comments below what you guys thought of either these pickups or the outfits I put together. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Peace out, you guys. Have a good day. See you guys next time.